And more and more, it's becoming important for young people to be involved in their community. And an organization in Albuquerque is encouraging kids to do that just that. And there's a way that you can help too. News 13's David Romero is live with Kids Helping Kids APQ with details. Pretty cool effort, David. It very, it really is, Adam. And uh, good morning to you. Good morning to everybody at home. That's Kids Helping Kids with a Z. Make sure you note that when you're going to be uh, helping these great folks out later. Stacy Silvas, the founder of that, is here with us this morning live and a great group of kids that helps make that effort all happen. And uh, we're going to make sure that uh, we can put their faces on here and kind of uh, give them some exposure for all the great work that they are doing. And uh, Stacy, as we were talking about last hour, I mean, you tell us that, I mean, you would rather they, they be in the limelight because of the great uh, efforts they're doing, right? Of course, yeah. I'm just the person in the background. Yeah, and, and what a great organization that you started here. Uh, while I give everybody a look at uh, everybody here in the room, talk to me about it. When did this all come about? Um, like I said, we've been up and running for four years. We have um, helped numerous people um, in and out of Albuquerque, or El Paso, Texas, Roswell, where we're out of. We, we're from Roswell. And um, we're just here to help volunteer with whatever we can. We, we're needing donations of anything. 100% of what you give to us definitely goes out. We go and seek people out to give them to. And that's just what we do. And what kind of things do you collect and what kind of things do you pass out to? Uh, right now we're passing out anything that's warm, blankets, um, socks, pants, shoes, anything to keep anybody warm. Um, we also take donations of food. We take hygiene products. Anything you're going to give us, we're, we will give out. We will find somebody that needs it. That is very incredible. And uh, speaking of kids, helping kids, we have one of the kids right here uh, next to you. Who do we have? My name's Michaela. And uh, Michaela, talk to us about wh what it's like for you to be one of the kids making a difference and helping out. Well, first I'd like to thank God because without him, none of this would be possible. We wouldn't be able to do what we do. We wouldn't be able to see the smiles we see and the, the loves we get and just all the good vibes that the people give us. Amen. So without him, none of this would be possible. Yeah. And so when you when you see the looks on folks that you, when you pass out a blanket to somebody on the street and you know that you're making a difference, how does that make you feel as a young person? It makes us feel like so good inside it makes you feel like you've actually accomplished something because knowing that you helped somebody that needs help more than yourself it just touches you and you know when it's your time your time's called it, it calls you when you know you have to help someone you'll know you'll feel it inside your heart and a great effort that uh, they are doing here. And again, uh, you can help these folks make a difference and in turn make a difference in their lives. And, uh, you know, somebody that needs to be thanked for this is, of course, Stacy for uh, putting this effort together. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, again, guys, it's a critical time of year where we're not only just coming up on the holidays and the season of giving itself, but it's very cold out there, as evident uh, with the latest uh, storm that we've gone through. And it's only the beginning of what's set to be a long and cold winter. So, again, uh, we're going to have some details on how you can help out, but uh, a nice and a tremendous effort that these folks are doing here. Remember, that's Kids Helping Kids ABQ with a Z. So, Adam, we're going to send it back to you for some more details. Very neat. Thank you, David. And by the way, Kids Helping Kids ABQ has a list, too, of ways that you can specifically help, including information on their Facebook page. We'll have a link to that with this story at krqe.com later this morning. We'll send things over to Crystal now.